It is recommended that the provision also makes it an offense for a person to refuse to grant the police access to the device. This is part of changes being proposed by the Jamaica Constabulary Force under the anti-gang legislation which is being reviewed by a joint select committee of parliament. However, members of the committee say the provision would be a duplication of the powers which currently exist under the Cyber Crimes Act. Member of Parliament Mark Golding sought answers during Tuesday's meeting of the committee. The parish court is readily accessible and therefore it's not clear yet why we need this additional power. Why can't they comply with the Cyber Crimes Act procedure? Is it a question of legal resources available to you? In other words, to go before a parish judge and apply for an order for the password to be disclosed, a warrant? Or, I mean, is it that you don't have the resources available to go through that process? What is the issue? Why you, you, know, you need something easier? And Attorney General Marlene Malahu Fort has urged the Jamaica Constabulary Force to revisit aspects of the provision under the anti-gang legislation. She was reacting to the proposal for the police to be granted access to electronic devices without a court order. You have to look internally, and I don't think you are in a place to answer no without going back to your team internally and also referring to your minister in respect of how the resources are allocated or through your commissioner. But the question has to be answered before we look at granting any additional power. Why is it that the cyber crime provisions cannot be used in respect of a particular device that falls squarely within the mischief of that law? Michael Sharp. Frontline News.